Good morning, afternoon, evening, etc. Whenever it is for you, everybody, and welcome back to Monster Train. As usual, with like the current week of internet going on, if this goes up, it's a miracle. The internet's been pretty spotty since the last recording, which is upsetting. But it hasn't gone out during my work hours, which means I don't have to burn PTO. Today's Monday. Uh, ideally, this will be going up on Monday if things uh, pan out well. Quite literally just got off of. Oh my god, grunt right in my ear, why don't you? Quite literally just got off of work, so. Wook? I was looking at this. Um, just got off of work here, so ideally we'll get this recorded, slap it up on the YouTube, get our Hades out of the way, and then take a nap and maybe do some more before my in internet <laughs> inevitably dies. Uh, last time we did an Awoken Melting Remnant combo, which... Did I win? No, I think I lost. Lost badly, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like this combo can work out, and maybe we just need to do like a priority swap where this is the main focus, and then we have these guys as a secondary. Um, sorry. These guys. <laughs> I'm just so in love with the Melbourne Remnant. Um, so yeah, we'll do Stygian Guard into Awoken. Uh, we need to level them both anyway, and they're getting close, just about to top them off. Although you have more cards unlocked. Eh. Forget about it. The gold cards are of secondary concern, even though we want to get a full Gul'dan deck. Uh, it's not the main mission. Just winning a, an Ascension run here, a contract run, covenant run, whatever it is, is important. Serve the Diligent. Spell card is consumed. Understood. Got two Stings, two Titan's Gratitudes. Quite nice. And a Permafrost. So a lot of spell power in this. And um, if I understand correctly, Stygian Guard is the spell power based team of the game. So good starts, good starts. In turn, if I apply Frozen to a random card in your hand, could be good. 50% chance to remove all buff effects when an enemy unit enters your train. It may be a 50-50, but that's a damn good 50-50. Strike apply Frostbite, it's decent. Uh, spells cast on this floor cost one less. Yo! Alright, so that's sort of what we're going for here. We have a chance, even though we already have some zero-cost cards, to really get an engine going here. And with this guy, if we can keep everyone on the first floor, we can essentially just run them through um, with all of our zero-cost cards. We can go for upgrades on the Ma Merchant of Magic, or Magic mer Merchant, the cat guy, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, just get a bunch of spell power on them instead of spending money on the cost decrease, unless it is, you know, a two cost, three cost card. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, Mark of Invasions. Enemies appear on all floors. That's pretty easy to deal with on the first level. I'm gonna take it. I mean, I was gonna take it regardless of what it was. And what it also means is we slap down a boy here, slap down a boy here, and then... I don't have any actual damaging spells here, so we'll have to work with this for now. Right. As expected, if you go for these uh, early game gambits or the trials, expect to get hit up a little bit, and that's okay. Here we go. Boom. Zero cost. Slap a dude down here. That's a triple baby. Um, not getting that money, and that's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Dropping anyone else anywhere is not really going to do us any favors outside of somewhat softening them up, but like neither of these guys will actually take or any any lasting damage. Forget about it. Alright. You know, we're doing this in a different order. I'm doing Monster Train first instead of Hades today, mostly so I don't go into Monster Train right after a Hades run, like trying to rush it and go through it as fast as I can. Use this to get some more cool, calm, collected, and thoughtful plays. Dunk. Dunk. Dunk, and then... Excessive dunk, but a dunk nonetheless. Okay. They're gonna get away. Unfortunate. What we can do is try and keep our boy alive. Which he will not. I could have done the math to figure that one out, but that's alright. Uh, everyone's gonna get through here. They're gonna get, like, a, a double sweep on, I think. Single sweep. We do 20 damage, so we're gonna take another 8. Not to worry at all. Not to worry at all. And again, anyone else we plop down is probably just gonna die. If we get two boys on the second floor here, we'll actually get a little bit of lasting damage. Let's go ahead and uh, do it up like that. Go for the 25 pieces. There you go. This is the turn where you want to see a bunch of spells, and we got enough. Might have to get the kill outright, which is pretty bad. That's alright. A bad hand can easily uh, turn this deck around. A good hand 
make sure we never get into this position in the first place. So that's fine. Still above 50% HP. Off to the first floor. Getting some more wonderful spells such as additional Titan's Gratitudes, which I'm not entirely sold on. Offerings. Oh, sorry, Titan's Tooth. We can do this, because uh, we placed this on the floor where our main boy is. Get a nice little sweep going. Could use some units to actually back us up as well. Get to that in a second. Alright, no units. Unfortunate. Hmm. I'm going to bank on getting Restoration Detonation and hoping we get some sort of beefy unit like a, one of the Rejuve boys. Either the Spike Rejuve or just the bigger health pool guy. So yeah, we had to go down this path. And it is an Awoken Batter, so... Boom. Exactly what we were hoping for. Not a Merchant of Magic on this side, but we can update these guys with some extra oomph. So you... Getting Incant Armor is very good. And we're looking for more, like... HP upgrades in this case. Could slap a plus 10 onto some of my train stewards to have him give us a hand. Could slap it on this guy to have him give us a hand. But he's just there for beef. So we're looking for HP. And that will be alright. Hmm. Spikes on one of these lads would also be pretty good. But uh, I don't think it's really going to do us any favors. In fact, I'm going to purge out one of the train stewards. I've decided they're not going to be our linchpin on this run. Toss in the wayside. Let's get going. Trial of... Trial of Spikes. That's really bad. Because <laughs> I think our main guy has, yeah, 5 HP. So, I just can't do this one, really. I don't have the cards that'll actually make this feasible. I'm all about pushing my limits here, but that one's just not possible. The Dunker G. No. All right, this will still do. They go for a boom, and go for a boom. She's gonna get whittled away as she moves up. This guy's gonna keep getting incanted, which is good. He's gonna get a little uh, extra space on this floor and we'll be good to go. And you get slapped down here. Gonna go for the grata, grata, ta, ta. Not getting through these other guys, which is unfortunate. Mainly because of that one, yeah, the freaking purge spawner. Oof. Because we want to be incanting down here. Hold up. Damaging spells. Okay, we might want to make the restores free. Okay, that does what we were hoping. I'm going to keep the purge in here because I want this guy to get armor and heals. So hold on to that for a picosecond. Restoration detonation. Huge. Another restoration, huge. And that's enough to get the kill. So let it ride. And this is pretty much what we're hoping for, just this exact kind of play. We can get one DPS unit in there with like a twig blight or whatever. But that's pretty much what we're hoping for, each and every time. This count is an offensive spell. Oh, damaging spells, okay. If it doesn't do damage, ain't getting the buff. Understood. Hmm... Unsealed Tome. Frozen Wind Drawn, we can silence when we need it, so I'm actually okay with that. I don't want more of the discard cards. I need pretty much anything else, really. There you go. Restore two health to all friendly units and deal two damage to all enemy units. That is a heal and a damage card, so our boy's gonna proc that. But Doings are also gonna proc something here. What is it? <laughs> Amusing. I love hearing work stories from my my good friends. Uh, we're just going to mute the tab for now. Hmm. All right. Um, still could use a few more units. Not going to tiptoe around that. Could use the healing, though. Nurturing seal doesn't really help out if we got no units we want to upgrade. So, yeah. Artifact it is. Plus three magic power. Oh, yeah. Reducing merchant costs, that's pretty good as well. But we got we got something going here. And boom, Animus of Speed, so that's our DPS. Uh, and we are pretty much banking on the fact that they don't get off the first floor with this team comp. But you can't actually fit here yet, so 
It's sort of a play for the future. I'm grabbing you for some additional damage. I think it's necessary. You can't just rely on, you know, full burst spells when we get to Seraph himself. We're not going to be able to one-shot him with spells alone. Um, Hef the blacksmith huddles near the train. She is clearly unaccustomed to the cold. I trust the rail has been smooth. Well, as smooth as it can be in times like this. Like these. All right, I found something of use. A couple of relics left behind by my father. I wasn't sure when you'd come by the forge, so I trekked out into this damn cold. I, I trekked out into the damned, into this damned cold to find you. I don't have room for them both, but I figure you might have need for one. Hell, I might even be able to upgrade later if it suits you. Rail spikes. Add a permanent copy of this card to the discard pile. Hmm. Damaging spells, damaging spells cost one less, so... Interesting. Uh, Multi-strike extinguish. Add a permanent card of this... Hmm. It's a very weak multi-strike, but it's zero. And it's more or less free damage. It's a free block, really. I'm struggling to find a use case for these. That's like, like rage buffing or like giving these guys some attack damage. I think I'll take the rail spike. Gives not approval chance. Be careful with that. It looks ancient, but my old man made sure it would work for a good while. And if you get a few more of them, uh, four or more will do. I'll make it worth your while. Understood. So we need to make four of these copies here. So we need to get essentially three kills with it, and we'll be able to upgrade it later. Nice little mini meta game we got going on. Daylus. Didn't even see what his upgrade was. We'll take a look at here in the, the lobby. And you just deal one damage to the front unit on death. So this is good. The rail spike can be used to pop the bombs, which I'm all for. I really want Thorn Lord to show up, and I don't want I don't want an opportunity to pass us by, so we'll crop this here. This is just not ideal. Not ideal at all. Yeah, I think we just go for some bops. And we don't sack you. Not yet, at least. There you go. Plop you down here. Again. Keep him regen. Let's prep someone up here in case a uh, goblin spawns, and then we'll go for the another spell cast. It's fine. In Cance Ahoy. There's one card we want to grab right now. Didn't find it. It's okay. The detonated. Um, we're still good, and we're doing some damage onto the boss himself. Send it. Totally fine. Here we go. This is what we were hoping for. So, some Gleamer, get some Rejuve, sting him, and then Lance. Lance for additional benefit. I'm going to go ahead and silence all of you next turn. We're just gonna hang on to these because we can use them for more incant procs. God, you guys are annoying. Okay. So you squeeze by. Get stung. Rail spike. Going to Dunkachino you. Additional rail spike for later. Lance for armor. I'm going to silence them so you get some armor. And then we'll go ahead and freeze off one of these so we can get a Reju tick going. Yeah, this is about expected. So here we go. A little play like that. Then you go Dunka, Dunka. 
They're already dead. I think we were better off getting some rejuve going, so I'll slap that onto him. Get another rejuve tick here in a picosecond. We use the Twig Blight there, whatever her name is, just to bop his armor, and then we go for some big deeps here. One of those. One of these. Three Sting. The Rejuve will really not do it. Frostbite long-term will, and that'll do it. So we need more Frostbite cards is what I'm seeing here. Because we barely won this one. This guy's still getting uh, crushed here. Thorn's got stacked up playing to help us get through this. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind a second one of these guys. Keep our 25 uh, quick damage unit alive. Channel Song. That'll also keep her alive. Um, not so much at least the Wild Road. Transfer all Frostbite. Okay, we'll go for Channel Song. Need some actual units here. Boom. Exactly what we were asking for. Grab him. Need to split our heal focus if we're going to go for a play like this, but we can work with it. And then we want extra space on each floor. So now we can slap down our uh, DPS unit with our Caster Boy. And I think we start pivoting here. Merchant of Magic, absolutely. Healing and extra spawn dually. Hell event could be nice as well. Could be really good, actually. But let's start getting our spells amped up. Damage spells cost less than, or two less. Even better. Some sweeping spell procs would be nice. Hmm. I just realized you're the person that I saw out there in the, uh, the cold. So this will help if we get some more really potent and really strong spells, which of, you know, Sigian Guard, there should be a bunch. Magic power and consume, I don't think so. Hold over a little more, a little more my speed, especially if I can do this, the Glimmer. Apologies, hold over is uh, next card played, top of the draw pile. So yeah, having this on repeat is excellent. What's up with all the consumes though? And the spell cost decreases. <laughs> Alright. Freeze up Channel Song, and we may as well make it free, so whenever we do get some uh, engine going there, we can play the unit without any issues, even though it's already going to be free. You know what I'm going for there. Alright. Non-boss enemy units get plus six damage. Ew. We don't really have a lot of beefy units to start off. These guys have a ramp up time, so I think I'm going to have to pass. I hate it. I hate being a coward. And we got the ideal setup here. Whenever you cast a spell, he gets armor. Hate that. This is the play. Uh, one, two, three... Six, three, two... You only cost one, that's why we were able to cheek this out. So I'm gonna slap you up here in case a gold bloom spawns. Good thinking by me. So that's a bit of damage. Put me in a very difficult position here. I think we're gonna let him go. We're better off frostbiting these guys and then getting this guy amped up, of course. We need some severe heals here. Some severe, serious, whatever you want to call it, heals. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nearly made our investment back. He dies. Uh, he's gonna get away with a little bit of murder, but that's okay. He's gonna get two smacks and even. Not happy about it, but it's the way it's gonna be. I don't know, just more of this. Huge. That's why Channel Song was sort of our linchpin, so we slap you in front. Um, you could use a heal yourself, to be honest. Uh, we've already got 12 thorns going on this guy. We should probably keep it going.
That is a beefy boy getting through. God, I wish I could clone my boss unit in cases like this. Alright, here, I can actually heal you this time. Not enough to get the kill. That is enough to get the kill. Very worthwhile. Um... So you should just play this, because it's free. You should definitely try and dunk a Chino, this guy. Uh, won't get the kill. There's no point in playing it. Outside of just spending the energy. Could slap down another unit instead. I think we'll do that for a little bit more long term, and then we get three damage in. Still not, to get the, not enough to get the kill. He's only going to get a one swing in with his HP as is. Just let him do it. 240. That's alright. 312. That's better. But it ain't enough. Eighty-eight, that ain't gonna do it, Chief. Nine damage, ain't gonna do it, Chief. Got rid of one of those. The reserve is gonna hurt us, but we got him. Just barely. This is why that Hellebin might have been a good idea, because our second uh, backup Thorn Lord is not that strong. Not that strong. Ice Empire. Good damage card. Plus seven magic power on this floor. Okay. Yeah. That seems appropriate. We want damaging cards so we can actually, uh... You know, get the benefit. This is huge for, like, healing, though. Healing and spikes. I'm gonna take Bramble Lash, because we can actually make that proc with our guy. And that's gonna be free, because it is a damage card. So we heal him up, give him the Bramble, let him go. Alright, this time, right path is where we're gonna be going. Even though I'd love to do this. Get the money for the future. Get the healing right now. And get the hell of it going on... You. So we get lucky and we channel song one of these guys to be our big units. We're pretty much good for the floor. Kind of a bit of an RNG deck at the moment. Ah, no. Crystal Cloak. Not again. Uh, and we... The deck's not that good, so I'm not going for any trials, but trust me, I would love to get the artifact, but I cannot. It's also my worst... Worst enemy on this game. Stealth Lord. I cannot beat Stealth Lord. I uh, can't really do much about this either. Can't go for that, however. Uh, hold it. Thank you. I was I was waiting for it. I knew they were gonna come. I had full faith. There we go. Keep them glimmering. Keep them glowing. I don't want the money to get away. That's all right. He's getting scratched up a little bit. We'll get some healing for him in a picosecond. second. Yeah, see you later. Nobody cares. All right. Boom. You are going to get slapped down here now. And we're going to put you up here just in case anything gets by and we can potentially heal you up. Uh, you. A little bit of damage in there. Give yourself some armor. Hold up, hold up, we can do better. Most excellent, aha. Uh -huh. Train steward for long term damage? Nah. We still have a channel song in our pocket. Let's not do it like that. Let's not rail spike ourselves for uh, in-can proc. 
This is still good. This is still good. Are you no longer stealth? I mean, it's fine by me no matter what. A little bit extra thorn action. It's not really going to heal you up that much, but it will give us a little more damage. Just a little. Alright, this one's going to be pretty dicey. Disregard, it's totally fine. Yeah, it's actually excellent. Most excellent, indeed. Um, we really need some spells for this to work out. Like, we really need some heavy hidden spells for this uh, deck to start popping off. Or just a bunch of stings, really, with a magic talisman in tow. Ooh, and it's, it's none of this. Oh, grab me the money. Uh, consume add spikes, consume add three stings. How much space do we have? Six total. Three, four, so yeah, we could, we could do this, and I, I think we will. But we, we definitely need some, uh, some spell damage, please. Some spell ups. Artifact, Merchant of Magic. Mm-hmm. Frozen cards are reduced to zero. Super. Apply daze to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. It's actually pretty good. Um, frozen cards reduced to zero. We're only really applying frozen to... Like, one card, so that's not really doing it for us, so... Pyre room it is. Healing. Not the greatest of trinket selection there. It's okay. 20 power and consume. <laughs> you know what? Actually slapping onto this, because if we get the kill, this just gets upgraded. Or it comes back anyway. So I'm cool with it. Permafrost on. Restoration detonation is also going to be pretty important. And we need more spells. Actually... <laughs> you becoming free is going to be decent. Plus 10 magic power. We've been waiting a minute for this one. I think it's going to be on Glimmer. Nice little AO hui. Remove consume and add plus one to the cost. All right, just being able to permanently silent every, uh, silence everybody will help out, but I think this is where the run dies, and if it does, we'll do one more. The deck's doing its best, but it's not that potent yet. You gotta be, gotta be very careful with this one. Also, I wasn't paying attention. Add Scourge. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> I mean, I know why, but like, just... But why? Here's what we'll actually do. We're gonna slap this guy in the front so he just gets sacked. We need to crack through this first. So he gets sacked and this guy keeps himself healthy. Pyre's gonna take a bit of a beating on this one. And the longer these guys stay alive, the worse off we are gonna be. I can't... I can't hit them. I'm going to struggle to hurt them. Go for a bit of a long-term play there, I guess. Okay. We're able to clear out these two, thankfully. Yeah, so I was hoping for something like this, so we can slap this guy with the regen. They're dazed, they're not going to attack. Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the daze is actually... It's got me this time. I've been dazed and I've been got. You're also not my good unit. I need you to die. 
Hmm. All right, all right. Well, I can't just let you die now, because uh, <laughs> we do need some meat. Yeah, if you die, um, our boss unit behind you dies. All right, that keeps him alive. About as good as it's gonna get. Animus up here. Let it get sent. It's a, it's a little bit of a flustered situation here. Like, just so many guys running through my train right now. I'm freaking out. Um. No, no, not not what we were looking for. However, you can take a hit. <laughs> you can take a few hits. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is, uh, this is not the run. This is most certainly not the run. Jesus Christ, dude. It's awful. Everything is awful. Okay. Okay. Um... We can burn this away. Spells are more potent down here. Take care of him so we stop getting these freaking debuff cards. Even though we're about to get another one right here. And oh my god, that damage. Where's my boss unit, dude? <laughs> Where is he? By the time he actually gets spawned now, it's going to be too damn late. Pick it up, dude. To be honest, I may as well just start stacking you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 20 HP, all right. He has not shown up, so we are gonna get swept here. We still should drop spells wherever possible. Uh, there's no thorns to be had, so that's, that's life. Still does 10 damage, we'll do it. Uh, 16, 16, and then send it. It really is going to be this top floor. You motherfucker. <laughs> you wait till now. To be honest, I need the armor. What if we do it like this instead? Burn the weight. 286. Something tells me that is not enough. And you're up to full HP, so that doesn't help. Uh, silencing you does nothing. That's about as good as it gets. So yeah, we're going to do another run. That one... Uh, was it wasn't working out. It wasn't working out that well. And again, mind you, it is, of course, on a... Ascension run difficulty. I'm not I'm not sitting here like defending myself because I lost. It's like it's gonna be a little harder. So you need to have like a more meta deck than your standard uh, run will allow. Let's give that one another shot. <laughs> hmm. Thinking, thinking. Yeah, I think the combo is fine. I think that could have worked out. Maybe if we just didn't go for the spell pace, uh, spell based deck. Or we got some more potent spell cards to help us with spell based uh, spell based deck. Could have worked out a little better. Cryptic Builder offering: if discarded, deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit and push it back. 
Restoration detonation puts us in a good spot for another bit of the another bit of the healing, boys. And cuddle hex, freeze a random card. Yes, indeedy, dandy. Units cost minus two. Okay. I'm struggling to think if there's any uh, big units out there, but that'll let us play spells for free on the opening turn, so that's cool. You can go for some bigger, beefier units. Oh, also cool. This time around, we're going to go for the Sweep Lord, because that'll actually get us some uh, debuff stack in here. Um, damaging spells, minus one. Oh, it's so good when you have the Frozen Lances, though. Especially with the Cryptic Builders. I mean, only be able to play one at the end of the day, but still. It is 60 damage. You know, 60 damage is 60 damage. I think we go for the Conduit once more, and we're going to go for the Frostbite Sweeper if we can. That'll help out a little bit more, rather than just going for even cheaper spells. Uh, enemy units enter with three spikes. All right, well, you have instantly countered uh, Titan's Bane. So congrats. Congrats on your win. I don't get 75 gold. You have me. You have me right where you want me. I think you just out the gate go for the big KO play. Do that for the money. Go for the dunk. Go for the dunk. Losing my spell lord. Well, um, maybe we'll do. One more run after this. I'm gonna let the top guy go. We just need to get through these guys. All right, you can uh, you can uh, give me the weight. That's fine. In fact, I should just burn it out because the math didn't check out there to do any damage. It even told me. Um, yeah, you can you can hit my pyre, but let just know I have the high ground somewhere in this conversation. Yeah, go go ahead, hit it up a little bit. Two hits, not a problem. All right, not even worried. Twenty-five damage twice to the front enemy unit. It's very good, especially when it's going to cost one. Oh, frostbite though. I love me some frostbite. These are both amazing. You can also tell because they're all gold. Offering token. Pretty good to filter out my crypt builders. I think we have to sort of build towards the discard meta. This will give us good healing, as we've already seen. This does trigger off of the spell cost reduction because it does damage. Uh, enhance would also be good, but yeah, grab me Glimmer. And we need, once again, another beefy, juicy spice boy. Doesn't have to be a Thorn Lord, it could be any kind of guy. But if it's Thorn Lord in particular, we want it. Hey, welcome back. You're also free. Holdover. Rinse and repeat. It's almost like we never even left. Give me a Glimmer holdover. Give me a cost reduction on a Cryptic Builder. And then give me a Consume. On the other cryptic builder, really. Uh, you know what? Actually, in hindsight, yeah, holdover on restoration detonation is probably way better for damage and healing. And that one's my bad. I think, uh, yeah, I should have definitely thought about that first. Went for like the sweeping sort of clear, uh, clear damage instead of, um, you know, damage that will heal and actually bop pretty hard. I think we can do this. Just 10 armor. I'm gonna hold off on this, actually, because that boy has spikes. And that'll cause me some issues. Not these boys that have spikes. It's the last guy that has spikes. Oh, goody! Enchant! Uh... <laughs> oh, that's spike. Sorry. For some reason, I thought that was run to the top. Uh, okay. So it's all good. Hmm. 
I have no way to heal right now. So this guy's just getting lined up for the slaughter. So let's go ahead and actually prep on floor two. Oh. Nearly biffed that. I can still slap some spells down here. There's no incan action going on here, it's just the read two. Good. Yeah, and that's why we want that card instead, because it actually, uh, it slaps back. All right, good. I think we should be okay on this floor. Go for the dunk. The dunker. Lansom, Lansom. Healer goes up by herself. Sad sight. I mean, we may as well, right? Remove the spikes, makes them a little bit more potent. And we actually get 15 damage on the boss. Totally fine. Glimmer for the kill. Be able to keep him potent. Lance him. Perfect. Again, only reason why these guys are dying is because this guy got thorns of his own. Other than that, we're doing fine. So another chance at Frostbite that's good. AoE Frostbite, even better. Once we get to the bosses, though, we'd rather have the single target. So I'm actually feeling this one a little bit more. I'm gonna grab it. Consume for regen. You know what? This is actually a time. We need to buff up our, our one lad, give him some regen over time, stack it up with our other regen. Get a lot of thorns, get a lot of health. And it'll be great. Speaking of health, going here for more than just that. We need some HP. Okay, I have some spikes to start off. Refresh, and there it is. Almost an exact duplicate of the last time. Uh, just with a little <laughs> last time, last time, with a little bit more spike action in the mix. And to be honest, just giving you plus ten. I'll give you some HP if I can, but you're just sort of there to have the damage with the current way where our floors lay out. And over here we got crystals. Or ember deposits. They're all crystals. Um, no, I just actually... I hate that. I also hate the ringing I'm experiencing in my left ear right now. Because I actually can't hear out of it. We good? Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, I don't know what's going on right now, but my left ear is like all of a sudden very, very uh, quiet. It's very dull. Like I, I can't hear out of it that well, for whatever reason. Uh, all right. Plating seal. Enter with damage seal. Hate it. Hate it, but we can get through it. We can manage. This is really jarring. It's like a, uh, it's like when your ears plugged up from swimming. Although it's just my left ear, I can still hear out of it, but it's just very, very dull sounding. Weird. Uh, bomb on second floor. Good to know. You coming in with spikes is most excellent. Slap up there in case a boy spawns. Perfect. Big regen. Bigger regen. Lansen. And Manson. Cover our grounds in case a, uh, you know, golden boy spawns anywhere. No such luck. Regen detonation. Just regen in general. I'm I'm very distracted right now. <laughs> I'm like it's like I have one 
headphone on, or like one uh, one speaker of my headphones on. Apologies, don't mean to like ramble on about things that aren't the game right now, but it's weird. It's jarring. All right, yeah, that'll actually work out just fine. Give you a little bit of frostbite action. Okay, we're taking a hit here. Uh, just kidding, no we're not. We're totally fine, you're taking some hits here. Less fine. Alright, and we got him. Easy peasy. Huge, and that little bit of frostbite is definitely doing its, uh, share of help. And frostbite equals poison from Slay the Spires. You can think of Stygian as its own little, uh, the silent class. More spike damage. Cycle of life. This doesn't really go well with what we're doing as far as, like, you know, free spells, but getting more HP and spikes for the guy is pretty important, and we can amp it up to make it cheaper, too. Extra stings would not hurt. We can slap that somewhere on the top. I think I will. And then, I think Floor Enhancement is the way to go. We can even put this here, so that way it's truly safe. Yeah. Give me the Floor Enhancement. Alright, here's an important choice. We could vent some cards, get an artifact, burn the heal, or... Hell Event, duplicate... Mostly, like, you. I was running the issues whenever I duplicate these boys, I can only really give attention for regen on one of them. So I don't really want to duplicate my tank, I want to duplicate, like, a damage unit. Which you don't really have. We can also duplicate Cycle of Life, which will probably make our tank boy even better. I'm selling myself pretty hard here, the artifact is so good, but I think this is actually right. I get really tunneled on these hell events where I have to think, oh, you have a double unit, right? No. You can double a card, and that's okay. Mind you, these are expensive. It may cause us not to play some of the crypt builders, but this is the right choice. Get some cash for later. Another Stygian unit can be... Excuse me, something in my throat. Let's wash it down with some water. Um, so this doesn't really work, because I'm playing the spells... I mean, without, like, another, you know, front line to keep her alive. I'm playing the spells after she would actually be able to apply the weakness outside of maybe a frostbite scenario. And this guy is just... I mean, he could be a secondary damage dealer. Should be a place I could see, if I'm not mistaken, how... There it is, yeah, six. So you can put you on the uh, same floor with us, and you're going to get the incant bonus from spells, so that'll be a little bit more DPS. Sort of what I'm thinking about it. And I said I was going to go for the extra, you know, spell cost reduction, but, uh... Things have kind of changed since I got more of these, and I still want to be playing these. Also, I didn't get the uh, Frostbite guy instead. I still got that totem boy. So we'll go for this. And on we go. Enemy units enter with 15 armor. Oh my... I think we can make that work. Oh, but you guys are the freaking burn me harder. You know what? No. There's no need to greed. We're fine. We're doing just fine. Things are pretty stable. We don't need anything extra. And we got our opener as well, so like, let's get out there and do it. Start covering our bases. Hoping to be able to clear through that. No such luck. Oh, easy there, Tiger. Slap him down. Then you start casting. Got a potent floor there.
I don't like the fact that they're getting away. I could cycle of life you. Probably more important to keep him up and running. Alright. One more uh, conviction in there. Not a problem. One damage on the pyre, also not a problem. And we need you to get dusted so you don't freaking continue to give us uh, debuffs. Oh, uh, wait, you're gonna self dust yourself. Very stupid. So, Frostbite would have been. Ooh, didn't see that guy. Better on this individual. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, it's just so much better to regen stack. And two extra damage ain't gonna do it either. So you may as well heal you up further. Alright, final wave. Huge. So you go boom to the back. Sting. Sting. Only got this guy to worry about, and he's done. Done and dusted. This guy got really strong over the course of this fight. As I mentioned, these things are too expensive. I would have loved to hell event it when it was cheaper. Just means I have to double up on the, you know, spending to make them worthwhile, but that's alright. We have them, we need them, even though we can't even touch them at all. So we may go for the next upgrade as a uh, energy upgrade instead. And then you give me stuff like this. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You telling me I could give my guys even more armor? That's pretty good, you know? Actually, incanting for frostbite is insanely good. But we're out of space, right? Six. We got one. Two, three. Four, five, six. Unless we squeeze out an extra slot. And we're putting all our eggs into the uh, first floor or whatever floor basket. Hmm. When you think about it for bosses, you're if, unless you're like, you know, 15 stings deep, that's not really going to apply a lot of frostbite. It's more for the trash. The armor might be more beneficial for some of the uh, staying power in other units. If we ever get to cast spells on those floors. Ha! Huh. It's because I want to cast them all on this guy. It's not gold, is one reason. And two, if we have like a triple layup or a double layup for train wardens, we can actually... uh. Give them a little bit more, I guess, punching power with the Frostbite. So we should probably line them up on the first floor and have our our big tank unit and the uh, spell, spell, deck, uh, spell, deck, spell stacking damage on the second or third floors. Uh, extra card draw, not a bad idea either. Descend and heal 10. You can make a very bulky floor. Go ahead and give me the extra spikes. Well, oh, actually, I could have done the Descend Heal 10 and actually bring down... You know... The, the card I literally just grabbed with this, yeah. Could have done that. A little bit of haste there. Hell Event again. Don't think I can get three of these to actually work out for me. Helleventing a Glimmer Holdover, not a bad idea. Helleventing a Restoration Detonation, also not a bad idea. Merchant of Steel. Could stack up you? Or even give you thorns. Then what else is here? Whatever the caverns have in store. Um, I think we'll go for the heal and the artifact. Extra HP on the Pyre. Two stacks of Frostbite each time Frostbite is applied. And Frostbite does not decay, so that's really good for the bosses. Only one Frostbite spell, of course, barring this. I think I'm just going to grab the extra HP. And we came here for the Hell Event in particular. I'm going for a Hell Event onto my... 
Where is it? Is it going to be regen? I think it's going to be regen for the staying power on our, our boss unit. Or our tank unit for the boss unit, you know what I mean. 150 gold. Start on each floor. Ooh. The money. I think this is where we need to push it, right? So these guys... Sweep. Oh. So you're dead instantly. That's fine, you're just there to debuff. You're dead in one swing, so you only get one punch out. And then the rest of you... Oof. Kind of annoying. I think I can greet it on this one. Uh, no, let, let's play it safe. I think I can greet it, but I want to play it safe. We have something that's actually working here, and we don't really need the big boost. And this is definitely a pull back and go to another floor situation. Still dunk a Chino you if I can. Things start lining up, that's good. Too eager. Could have could have got some damage up there. That's my bad. And when it's my bad, it's my bad, alright? If we miss one rage stack on it, not the end of the world. Just keep it in mind for the futures. I think we go for a double rejuve here, since we'll be stacking up rejuves in a second. Actually, no, you know what? We have the chance to go for something like that, I think we gotta go for it. We'll get the rejuves elsewhere. And don't like buffing that boy up, but that's okay. More spikes. Good, good, good. He still needs healing. <laughs> Genji needs healing. Again, have another chance to give him plus 10 and more spikes. It's our chance to get the regen going. We actually have to go for it. Let's start slapping some guys down here. Reduce our garbage draws for the future. And you know what? This is a perfect time to go for a little cheeky play like this. You still get the regen, of course. Yeah, every spell played means we can uh, rotate things around and get more frostbite on, so this is fine. So yeah, I'll go for one of these. One of those. Regen restoration doesn't matter. It applies frostbite, so this guy's going to get wilted away. This is held on to for the next turn. He's healing a little bit. Not as much as I would like, but he's healing. I mean, we're going to do that anyway. Then we go 5, 10, 15, 20, pop through him. 60 on you. Additional 5 piece. Not enough for the kill. Really just hoping that Frostbite hangs around. Oh wait, we didn't go for the Frostbite upgrade. Of course. He sweeps everybody, and then they die. The end. Um... So that'll give us some damage. Uh, nothing else here really does the trick. Because, yeah... So we just go for some sting action here. And I think I still lose. Air quote lose. I mean, we got freaking blasted. We had enough HP to survive it, but that's that's an L in my book. One frostbite, one sap. What'd you call me a sap for? Hmm. Magic power? Probably not. And silence? I don't think we want any of these. I think we say no to all of them. Restoring health, gain one energy, draw plus one next turn. 
Still counts as a heal. It's a dead draw when it does come around, but it does count as a heal to proc the spikes on our boy. So you know what? Give it to me. Maybe we can make it uh, get a spell power up. Merchant of Magic? It is indeed on the left path, and that is the one I was going to take. Trinket Merchant could be nice as well. But this is my choice, and I'm sticking by it. Hold over! So we learned from last time, these guys getting hold over is actually pretty good. There's a lot of things I want to make just dirt cheap and, you know, come back. The Restoration Detonation is probably the one that we need. Spell Power and Consume. I think a single regen getting this is actually fine. And if there's a time to spend, it is now. Like, we're on... We're on some, uh, testy waters here. Some touchy waters. Testy waters? What? <laughs> okay, it can make that free. So it is just a freebie. Basically a healing version of Sting. I think Restoration Detonation being free is a little more important. And Permafrosting... Mm, I don't know. Permafrosting one of these so we can go for the double regen play actually could be good. And yeah. Let's just get big heals out on our boy. So we have one regen that's coming around. We're going for the double player on regen to actually get him stacking a little quicker. Gonna remove out the train stewards since they don't really have much of a purpose. Outside of being fodder and the occasional gold grab. And we're at Fell's Wing of Light again, which is where I died, so... Leave it to me if I double die here. On the same floor. Alabas Guardians have multi-strike. Fell empowers units with rage. Pretty bad. I think we go for a top floor stack. Okay, mid floor stack it is. Acceptable. Stings are online. There's my boy. Once again, a little too eager. Missed out on a one and can't. That's okay. Okay, slap these guys down here to get rid of them. Super. Okay, one guy's getting through. He has a lot of HP too. That's pretty big. That helps out a great deal. Love to hit the boss with this frost, but uh, I think we actually need to go for this. To go Lance. Frost fight. This way he doesn't get as many freeze max in on the higher. Let it go. Not the one I want. Alright, send it. This is the one I want. Not in the proper order. Can we amp up the spikes further. Oh, there we go. Got them both. That'll come around again. Let's keep the dream going. So you want to play both of these when the boss is actually here, is the plan. Um, I don't want you to die. I'm actually going to top you off. Okay. 
Every spell played here applies to Frostbite. Which is going on the boss as well, so you know what? He's still gonna get through no matter what we do, so just let him get his one tick. Here we can go for Regen Restoration to dunk that guy. Just line this guy up for some dusting. Same story here. Mm hmm. Do you need to hold? <laughs> we want that region at its highest when she comes around. see it. So you go boom, then you go boom, and that's the kill. Just a little bit of regen helped us tick it over. Huge, 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 huge. I think we would benefit from having additional regen in this case, if that's, that was enough to take care of her. Not hitting too crazily hard. Consume, discard your hand? No. Draw X, enhance all cards? No, no, none of this. Transfer all frostbite? No, 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 no. The energy would help out. If I go for the lights enhancement, I can start stacking frostbite onto pretty much everybody. We have to hold out to make the whole combo happen, but. That bit of frostbite on the, the fight we're going on could be good. Uh, this will allow me to get... Yeah, I think this is correct. The frostbite's a nice secondary. This allows me to actually play some of those big spike cards, which is what's helping us get the bigger H pool to begin with. H pool? <laughs> HP pool. My brain's falling apart here. It's a mix of my ear not working and uh, <laughs> not eating today. Okay. Another hell vent. I only saw this show up once. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think actually this is going to be the play. So we get the heal. We hell vent out another Wildwood Sap. I think we just stack these things, we get our guys some big HP thresholds, and then we just stack them and we'll give them the super regen. Let the boys do the rest. I mean... Minus three, I don't have any really crazy spells that that works with, but alright. 400 coins. Coggers. Plus eight, though. Oh boy, you hit hard. I think we once again say no to this. No to this for the moment. Okay, combo didn't come out. Got confidence this is gonna be okay. I got some sack units ready if need be. I had a self mutilation to the drop pile. God, I hate you guys. Alright. Uh, so this is just as bad as it gets. Really, really bad. Fuck. I've got to sack this guy. Not necessarily sack, just get him in there for the moment. He doesn't die, thankfully. But these boys are gonna be running right away. 
and the mutilation is definitely stacking up. Okay. Now we game. Part of me wants to start getting the regen going right now, but we have to wait till we have all of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me more. A mutilation! No breathing! Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay. I'm gonna start healing him now, because he's already in the freaking danger zone. Mind you, we're gonna get another tick here in a second. Should have stacked that guy up there so we didn't lose our sting generator. Uh, Christ, I'm actually just lose to fucking trash. In fact, in fact, I think I may have just lost to the trash. <laughs> 16 HP! I have lost. Wow. That is a kick in the face. So I should have done them up here, clearly, but these guys are just running through. I wasn't really getting anything prepared quick enough to actually stop it. Well, damn. Not a fan about, you know, going out with a whimper here, but that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, etc. Whenever it is for you, and I will see you all tomorrow, ideally. The internet, you know, holding up or whatever. For the next one. Oh, right. I take it back. Let's look at our cards first. Uh, Lodestone Totem. Zapped everyone. Cool. Enemies enter with two Frostbite. Also cool. It's like a better uh, Spike Strips or whatever it's called. Alright, now I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Take it easy, everybody.